I like a very intellectual person and preferably tall and I think that's right, ambitious at the same time. <laughs> ambitious, yes. If he's talented, that, that comes in handy. Yeah. Feelings, so deep in my feelings. Hi, this is Vianna Nagasi and we're about to do this. Okay, so who are you as Vianna Nagasi? I am a fun, goofy, ambitious girl. I am a singer. I am into marketing at the moment. There's so many facets to me. Yeah. Okay, education? Education, diploma, business management. Okay, which school is that? AB is a course I did, professional okay. course. New Nation International School. Okay. Yes, we. Okay, so what um, drew you into the music industry? I've just been enthused by music since I was a child, so it was an easy pick, and yeah, it came effortlessly. I wanted to sing, and I thought that, yeah, why not sing and see what happens? Yeah. Is it a family thing? It's a family thing. My sister over here can sing as well. Wow, it's not your mom and your dad also? My mom, yes. My dad, I'm not sure. <laughs> my mom, yes. So, who inspired you? Who inspired me? So many people growing up listening to my dad loves old music, so just listening to those songs currently Kehlani, Chris Brown, and a lot of African artists as well. It's fine. Okay. Mm. Do you do your own songs? I've done one song that was out, this is about two years ago, but at the moment I'm doing covers. It's a, it's a series I'm doing, so I'm doing covers at the moment. Okay. So, yes. which, one, which cover is your favorite so far? I've, Abna is my favorite, yes. Viking Promise. Okay, yeah. but I've seen that one, the one by Family Union is also popular. It's very popular. People really enjoyed it when it came out. I love the song, but I prefer Abna, my favorite. Yes. Okay, and um, are you on the Lynx label? Yes, I'm being managed by Lynx. Okay, we like are manager. very close to Richie. You guys are friends or something? He's he's my bestie. Your bestie? Yes, and he's my manager at the same time. So like yeah. a boyfriend or something? No, no, no. Best friend. There's nothing there. You know, bestie in Ghana has a lot of men. Uh, those people that's for the media. I know mine is clean and clear. So what does he tell? Oh, it's just like he advises me a lot. Like I'll talk to him about things and because he's experienced more, he gives me the the logic I need and, and the perspective I don't see. Even concerning my career, because he manages me, like I'll call him about like stuff, endeavors that I'm about to take and things, and he'll tell me what approach to and to use and everything. So for how long have you known him? I've known him for almost two years. I need to get my, my figures right. Maybe a year and months. Okay. And how did you get to him? I met him through oh my god. I met him through Kitty. So like I met him through Kitty. Yeah. Okay, so why do you think it's very difficult for female artists to penetrate in Ghana? First of all, is it? What kind of? It is. I, I don't think so. There are a lot of female artists. For them to come to the limelight, they would have to do something crazy, you know, to catch people at people's attention. Or you don't think it is? I honestly don't know. I don't have my facts on this, so I'm not too, I'm not too versed in the subject, so I don't, I don't know what to say about it. Okay, then mm -hmm. what do you also make of producers trying to um, ask for favors from their lady artists before they, they push them? Does it exist? Oh, it exists in every industry. We shouldn't like put it in the bracket of music. It exists in the movie industry, and I don't even mean just Ghana or Africa. It's, it's a thing. It happens. I have yes. You have names. No, I don't have names. I can't say it any names. I was just a little more mature about it. I knew what they wanted. I knew I couldn't give it to them. So like in a subtle manner, tell them like, no, this can't happen. I'm here for the music. And if they didn't agree to it, I mean, there are so many other producers that are actually very professional. So you can find those ones and just work with them. Like Richie produces my covers for me, and I, so I don't have to go to somebody who wants to take advantage of me or anything. I'm safe as at, at present. Mm. Okay, so from what you just said, does that mean that your previous management 
for the people who you were going to work with before were asking you for that and because you couldn't give them that you had to move to riches I never actually really had management so, yeah. never really had management yeah. alright so um, do you have have you taken part in any competition before? yeah hitmaker hitmaker yeah. what's your position? I didn't go far yeah, unfortunately. Why? Um, I didn't. I, I, I wasn't able to vocalize who I, I wasn't able to be who I was. I think that's why. So something that, a song to do or something to do that I know I wouldn't, I, I can't kill. Let's be honest, it's not everything that's for us. So I should have been able to say, oh no, I can't do this song or like change, like basically just be vocal, which is a lesson I've learned. Would you consider trying to show a little bit of flesh to get people's attention? Not at all. Just for the market? Not at all. Really? Not at all. Okay. And do you have any mentors? Currently, Richie Mensa and directly mentors. And then Michelle Obama from a distance. From a distance? Yes. Oh, you meant in the music industry. No, oh, in life in general, Michelle. <laughs> Okay, what was your biggest performance? Biggest performance I think was Glitz last year. Glitz, Glitz Style Awards last year. Okay, any awards? Fame Awards last year. Best Youth in Music, I won that last year. Alright, what do you think about the Ghana music industry in general? Let's say, rate it, assess it on a scale of 1 to 100. 1 to 100? That's a stretch. But let's, let's say 10. Okay, 1 to 10. Yeah. One to ten, I think we're at six. Why is that? Why not? The new squad is doing so well, like Kiri, Kwame, Jin, Kwesi, Arthur. So if honestly we're able to push them and stay behind them, it will help like the younger people, younger generation to be able to like learn from them. That's a yardstick that they can emulate, do you understand? It? But the systems are not in place to help, like there's no royalties, musicians don't get paid enough like the Western world. So these are all things that are limiting us, but if we keep pushing, we can get there. Alright, if we say a musician, to you, who is a complete musician? Is it just somebody who has a voice and sings? Because elsewhere, if we say musicians, you have people who play the violin, who play other instruments. But yeah. in Ghana, it's just people who have a voice. To you, who is a complete musician? A, mu a musician, so an artist and a musician. Musicians are like, can be instrumentalists. So when you say artists, that's like more singer, all of those things yeah. you don't I don't think you have to do everything precisely but if you're an artist you're a singer performer or rapper performer you're a performer basically um I, I'm not sure I don't think there's anything there. so I learned to play the keyboard at 10 I just have to master it so I have a few skill basic skills yeah. let's get personal no, I'm not. Have you dated before? Oh, yes. I have. Maybe a, a, two years. Two years? So why did you break up? Oh, it's just differences. Differences? Yes. Okay. But how many dates have you had? How many relationships? Yeah. Um, three. Yes. Are you ready for a relationship? Oh, yes. I'm ready. I'm, I'm a nice girl. I'm okay. Are you <laughs> Am I what? Are you searching? Oh, I'm not searching. You should find me. Love should come and find me. What was your kind of guy? I like a very intellectual person, and preferably tall. And I think that's right. Ambitious at the same time. <laughs> Ambitious, yes. If he's talented, that that comes in handy. Yeah. Who is your celebrity crush? Chris Brown. Okay. Yeah. How old were you when you had your I I can't remember. I don't keep those things. I'm so bad with dates. I, I don't. Maybe you didn't feel like one, that's why. <laughs> so you're very young then? Not very young, no. Okay. Um, how do you handle fame? Now you're coming to the line and you probably like to get close to you. How do you handle fame? The truth is, it, uh, yeah, some people recognize me and like I'm okay. I'm a cool person. I'm goofy. I'm very fun. I'm a very fun personality, so I'm very approachable. Uh, till the point where I reach like fame, 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 I wouldn't know, but for now, I'm looking at school, it's calm. Okay. Yes.